I just need a hedge trimmer. Hey guys, Josh with Carl's Mower and Saw. And often we have our customers walk in and they're gonna walk up to the wall and they're gonna grab a hedge trimmer. They need to trim their shrubs, their bush. They need to clean up their property and they want a hedge trimmer. And so this is a hedge trimmer, a steel HS46. It's one of many, what I'll call traditional handheld hedge trimmers. It's a great machine, but is it the right machine? Right, let's talk about that a minute. And this is one of the advantages of coming to a local small business that is focused on outdoor power equipment. Some people that have experience that have ran these, that have walked with commercial guys for years and learned some tips and tricks and really know how to help align the customer with their needs. So a lot of times I'm gonna walk over and you, you have in your hand this HS46, great hedge trimmer, runs about 400 bucks, lightweight, great cutting blade. And I'm gonna ask some questions. I'm gonna be like, tell me about the hedge that you're cutting. I mean, are you cutting some cute little gas cans? No, little globes, right? You, you drive down you know, some of these beautiful neighborhoods and they've got these cute little, little boxwood shrubs going up to the front door these cute little globes. If that's what you're cutting, this is probably a great machine. In fact, you might even be able to get away with less than this of a machine. Or are you cutting an Arborvita hedge or some privet hedge that's maybe this tall, right? And it's 150 feet long to the back of the property. This may not be the right machine. So a lot of times what we're gonna do is say, talking about what you're cutting, how you're cutting, and we're gonna say, well, why don't you feel this machine? Or why don't you feel this machine? Let's sit on this chair. Does this fit you, right? We're gonna spend some time as experts, hopefully walking you through the options that you have and maybe opening your eyes to something. So I'm gonna grab this HL91 and I'm gonna hand you this head trimmer and you're gonna be like, I, no, no, this thing is way too big. And you're right, this is way too big to do these little suckers. It's, it's a pain, it's cumbersome. It'll work. You can kind of dance around it. It's kind of cool. But if I've got that hedge that's say this high and a long hedge, this thing is beautiful. It's amazing. It balances out so well. Unlike a traditional hedge trimmer where my hands are in a pretty set spacing, pretty tight, I can change where my front hand is placed and I can sweep down that hedge row very easily getting down to the ground and up to, I mean, if it's tall hedge, up to here, right? I also like this if I'm doing a top of a hedge, it's easier for me to hold this like this in this position and do the top of a hedge than it is for me to hold this like this. This is, this is a, you, you can't do this one like this, right? So there's something about knowing your options on hedge trimmers. And although a traditional hedge trimmer may be the right one for you, it might also be a wise idea to check out these short shafted pole hedge trimmers and really see like, wow, that's the right tool for my job. Price wise, they're about the same. It's not like you're spending a whole lot more money. Cut performance, they've got very similar blades, very similar blade speeds. It really is just gonna come down to reach and balance and what your needs are. So there we go. Stop by Carl's Mower and Saw. Don't just walk into some place that doesn't know a whole lot about how machines operate and what they work like and let us guide you through the process of picking the right tool for your property. We look forward to seeing you soon at Carl's Mower and Saw.